Flowers, candy, cards, they're traditional tokens of love, but they could be a cover-up. Do you know how to tell if your lover is cheating? One therapist says body language is a big clue. It's a science, anatomical subconscious science. Do you know the signs of a cheating lover? A quick Google search instantly produces well over a million results, the most popular ones being spending more time at work, excessive internet use, and a lot of hang-ups when you answer the phone. Do the same search for how to catch a cheating lover, and the results range from private investigators to cell phone tracking. Dr. Travis Fox says save your money. The eyes have it. It's a very subtle, very quick uh, reflex, which is what makes it such a reliable source. Some women may call it a gut instinct. Women have an ability, unlike men, uh, when you meet someone, you kind of shake their hand, you just kind of know whether you like that person or not. It comes down to how we access information, by pictures, sounds, or feelings. If it's visual, your eyes drift up. Auditory, they shift side to side. Or kinesthetic, you look down. And then you're going to break into left and right. So as they go to the left, they tend to be constructing. It gives you an indicator that something's going on because when someone moves like that, their eyes will naturally move in one way or the other. It just happens automatically. It could be a good tip considering that 60% of men and 40% of women will have at least one extramarital affair. Now, I'm not saying that an extramarital affair can't be damaging. Obviously it is. And, and obviously we have an incredible divorce rate in this country. I mean, astronomical, last I checked, it was some 65 plus percent. He has this advice for couples. Make a genuine connection. For six months, we're such a facade. Oh, yeah. We're not presenting our real self. Ask questions and watch how they move. So, for example, if they're going to the left, whether it's up in the visual plane, or we call plane to the ear, or down in here to kinesthetic, they tend to be constructing. It means it's probably not an actual experience or a memory they're recalling. So they could be lying to you, okay. or making okay. something up, or embellishing. If they tend to go to the right, they tend to be accessing truth. Fox believes we should live in the moment, cut to the chase, and be real. Mind management, not mind games. It has to do with how do you manage your mind. And if people get that information, it's amazing how fast their life changes. Change doesn't take time. It's the decision to make the change that takes time. Of course, Dr. Fox stresses the eye movements are just an indicator. He's not saying it's 100% accurate. But when 15% of women and 25% of men admit to having four affairs, those indicators could be very telling. Uh,